Hi, I'm Dan Bakiaki. I'm the VP of Engineering of Video Health. Uh, that means I'm responsible for the value creation engine at Video Health, both on the software and machine learning teams. We leverage computer vision to help analyze dental x-rays. This allows clinicians to focus on the most important things that are going in their patient's oral health care. For example, um, one, everybody is probably familiar with cavities. You've been to the dentist yourself. And um, we've done clinical studies uh, that show that dentists of all experience levels benefit from using our software to find both more cavities and also reduce the rate of false diagnosis. And we're the only company in the space who gets to make that claim. Video Health AI you know, effectively provides clinicians with another perspective um, and it helps build trust between the patient and dentists. You know, our our team, our whole team, Video Health, uh, is really customer obsessed, and that that customer obsession led us to win the biggest customer in the space. We have tens of thousands of clinicians using our products every day, and we've helped we help more than 10 million patients a year. You know, we're all team players. We care more about the success of the team than we do about our own individual accolades. The company's about 50 people right now, and the engineering team is a little bit less than than half the size. Uh, we organize ourselves in small, agile teams. Um, one anti-pattern that I've seen out there is in, you know, in other companies, uh, there's typically silos between machine learning teams and software teams. Here at Video Health, we're striving to be a fully integrated team. Um, and that, that integration has already borne great fruit for Video Health and its customers. Um, you know, we've even gone so far as to extend this beyond software and machine learning. And, you know, typically you'll find product clinical teammates and other important stakeholders all working together uh, collaboratively for the benefit of our, of our patients and our customers. We, we've got um, interesting tech, we've got interesting user experience and interesting big data challenges. You know, on the, on the technical side, you know, we're focused right now on scaling machine learning. Um, I think the scaling is not as hard as doing that scaling in a cost-effective way. And we've got to live within the bounds of sort of the financial constraints of, of the market. Um, that's, that's pretty interesting. Uh, we're also looking at leveraging new advances in computer vision, uh, trying to sift the, the wheat from the chaff. Um, there's lots of hype out there, but we want to, want to take advantage of things that are actually going to help us and make our products better. On the user experience side, we've got some challenges too. You know, if you think about it, like how do you bring an enormous amount of AI findings um, to the clinician in a way that helps them and doesn't overwhelm them with technology? That, that's really important. We want to give the clinician superpowers and at the same time build that trust I talked about between the between the patient and the dentist. And then because of the massive amount of data we have, like you can imagine there's some challenges there. You know, how do we effectively if effectively manage a trillion images and a bunch of other patient data that we have? You know, how do we take that and leverage that to build more value for our customers? Um, and one thing I can say for sure is that no engineer at Viti Health has ever told me that they find the work that we do boring. Yeah, we, we are we are technology heavy, um, lots of different different things. I'll give a breakdown of the languages, frameworks, and, and the cloud that we're using. Um, from the language side, we use JavaScript and ty TypeScript and, and Python. Um, JavaScript and ty TypeScript more on the software things. Python's mostly on the machine learning side. We have a, use a bunch of different frameworks. We use React for, for the front end. We use Node uh, for, for the back end and PyTorch for most of our uh, ML things. We use a bunch of other smaller, less known frameworks that I won't I won't uh, use alphabet soup here. Um, and then on the cloud side, uh, we, we leverage AWS mostly. We have got a few other things that, that we do, but, but that's you know, probably most, most relevant for most of our listeners. First, I'll tell you a little bit about the goal of our interview process. Um, you know, I think it's really important that candidates get a chance to know us and get to know what type of work that, that we that we do day in and day out. But then also it's really important that Video Health get a chance to get to know the candidate and see like how well do they fit from a culture perspective, but also like evaluate technical capabilities. Ultimately, we're hiring people on the engineering team to do technical work and we need to make sure that that they can um, they can get the job done. So the best way that we know uh, to try to answer those questions is to simulate what it's like to work together. So very practically, that means like, how well do we communicate uh, during the sessions? Like, is that communication effective? Um, you know, is it, is it um, you bring, 
getting to where we need to go. Uh, and then we do technical evaluations as, as well. We, we do application and system level design exercises. We do some coding exercises. You know, the goal with these exercises, the technical ones, is not to try to trick or trap candidates, but really to collaborate and, you know, give you a chance to, you know, share what you know how to do uh, in a way that's as friendly as possible. You know, we understand, you know, people are nervous and during the interview process. We really want to help people enjoy enjoy the experience and getting to know us. You know, we're not going to ask you to, to traverse a red and black tree, um, but we will ask you to write some normal code, you know, with a, with a peer there to help help you out. Um, and you can totally use the tools you use normally. You can Google some things if you've, if you've forgotten them and you, you don't lose any points. Um, you know, nobody's got a perfect memory. Yeah, I'll just go back to what I said previously. Um, you know, AI and machine learning, like they're they're everywhere. Um, they're going to continue to be everywhere for the next 10, 20 years. And to really be, um, you know, working at a company that's just on the vanguard of um, applying AI, you know, in a real way to help to help patients. You know, it's a pretty pretty interesting and um, moving, you know, situation to be in. You know, I, I consider us, you know, pretty fortunate to be able to you know, use technology to do something that's uh, making the world a better place. I think a lot of people could go and, you know, work at companies that are making people stare at screens longer or optimizing ad spend or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's it's a, a great opportunity to learn more about something that's going to continue to help, um, you know, your career over the long haul, uh, ML and, and AI, and have exposure to that. But at the same time, like, again, like I said, do, do something really valuable uh, that's going to help, help people.